Yo, sup swag, and you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy Keon Lord, aka KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we are back here giving another Matt B. Great reaction, man. Shout out to Matt B. Great, man. If you guys um, don't know the channel, man, it's Matt B. Great. I know you guys said, yo, you know, drop the link or whatever like that. Go to this channel, it's Matt B. Great, man. I've, I've been reacting to him for like two to three years now. I ain't gonna, well, two years, I think. Yeah, man, I like the thing about him. It, first, it was about his his voice. His voice was just a little funny, and I used to kind of like laugh at it and stuff like that. I don't know; it just sounded real like funny. Um, uh, but he had he have a great uh, a, a great personality, but he also keep it real, and that's why I really like him. Um, because he keeps it real, and he don't really care what other people think, and I'm like that too. So I like bro, man, and bro videos be hard, bro, and, and you know. He really, he don't, he don't really say too much, bro. He said what he got to say and boom, get off. And I ain't going to lie. If I disagree with bro, I say it, you know. But I like Matt B. Great, man. He keeps it real, man. That's why I like him, bro. He don't just be chatting. So, yeah, man, let's get into it, man. Stetson Bennett has something serious problems going on. What? Now, I ain't going to lie. Stetson Bennett, I was a little fan of bro. Like, he, he was doing his little thing at Georgia. I mean, it's Georgia. I mean, I think anybody probably sit back there in the pocket and throw the ball, right? But anyways, man, let's get into it, man. Exactly what went down. Here's see what problems he got going on. I have to remove you off of the team? Yeah, you can assume it was pretty dang bad. When the head coach is sitting up here telling people, please don't ask any more questions. It's so bad we can't even tell you what's going on. You have to assume the What? Word. What? Oh, yeah. We got three Matt B. Great oh, uploads oh, 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 here. It looks like our boy Stetson Doordash Bennett, he's in some trouble. Or at least it appears to seem that he has some serious issues going on. He's like 26, 27. Make this video sooner and speak on this sooner, but there's just been so much stuff going on in the college football world. And y'all know yeah. we like to talk about college football a lot here. However, we also do like to talk on the NFL a little bit. And one of, if not my favorite, I'm more of the NFL, the NFL more. are the rookie quarterbacks. And unfortunately for DoorDash Bennett, his career has gotten that nigga said DoorDash Bennett for the NFL. And even saying his NFL career has gotten off to an awful or terrible start, that might be underestimated in this situation. With Bennett, we're not even talking about a football situation anymore. We're talking about a life situation. And I've been following this situation very, I mean very closely the past five to six, seven days, and it just gets crazier and crazier. But let me show you where things started. On September, I believe, yes, September 13th, it was announced that the Rams are going to place rookie quarterback Stetson Bennett on the reserve slash non-football injury list. When that news broke and I heard it, I was like, huh, that's a little weird, isn't it? And a lot of people felt the same way as me, but there's also your fair share of people saying, eh, no big deal whatsoever, and they just swept it under the rug, which I understand. Yeah. It's really hard to look at this news right here I'm showing you and go, oh, man, something terrible is going on in his life. So we didn't do that. But just like with anything in this life, the speculation, it grew. And before I even say this, no, this isn't confirmed. This has just been the rumors that have been leaked out. Take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt and form your own opinion. The speculation yeah. that was going on and the most popular opinion going around is that Stetson Bennett, let's just say he couldn't control his alcohol. And you know what? what? Was the first rumor to break out because, because after he won the championship, championship he, got he got drunk, drunk and he was arrested. arrested. So, of, so course, of course, the, the first, first conclusion that everybody's going to jump to is this is involving I don't alcohol, know why niggas which drinks. then brings up the question of, okay, is this guy an alcoholic? I mean, what's going on? Yet again, though, can't emphasize this enough. Those were just rumors, nothing confirmed. Everything yeah. we just talked about, that took place on September 13th, the 14th, and the 15th. But however, three days ago on September 16th, this news broke out. And that news is no other than the it's Rams recent. coach Sean McVay announced that the rookie quarterback Stetson Bennett has been removed from the active roster due to issues, quote unquote, bigger than football. Damn. I'm going to show it to you and say it to That's you. That's embarrassing. Time. Stetson Bennett has been removed from the team for issues. Shake that are my head. Yet again, title that shake my head. Okay. Okay. What, could what could this be? be? And everybody's everybody immediate be. conclusion or the Trip. one thing they want to jump to is alcohol. Sean McVay also added this, quote unquote, out of respect for him and the situation, I'm going to leave all the specifics and particulars in house. And yeah, Sean McVay, he hasn't said anything more about it. And what seems so weird about this to me, well, I guess it isn't weird. It's just normal protocol and procedure. Sean McVay has been advocating for people to quit asking about it. And he's told people time after time, please respect 
my wishes of not wanting to speak about this anymore. Here's yeah. what I stated, quote, unquote. I really, I really hope that you can please, please respect, respect my wishes, my wishes, in, wishes regards in regards to keeping that in house. house. I understand I you have a job to do, but there are certain things that I think are a little bigger and a little more important. And wow. I respect for the particulars and the specifics. We want to keep this in house, and that's where I want to leave it. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah, boys and boys girls, and girls that's, it. that's it. That's all we know. Hey. I do want to clarify, clarify this for some people that are confused. No, no. it has been confirmed. Uh-huh. This isn't a physical injury. This is something else. Now, as to what it is or what it could be, have no idea. You can speculate all you want in the comments, but I have nothing to report on. Sean McVay and the Rams and Seth Bennett himself and his team, they've done a very good job of keeping everybody out of their business. I will say, though, it's an extremely hard situation, and I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this involving a quarterback at the NFL level. Especially in 2023, do you know how hard it is to keep people out of your business and just stay quiet when you're in the NFL? The fact that somebody doesn't have the inside scoop on this is blowing my mind. But yet, here we are. And if you want my two cents on the situation as to what I think it could be, here's my thoughts. If I had to take a wild, wild wild guess, guess, yeah, I would assume, and this is the only logical guess you could even have, it involves alcohol. That's the best educated guess you can make, right? Yeah. Last time he got in trouble, what happened? Alcohol, it was involved. So therefore, you get in trouble again. Yeah, I'm going to assume it is involving alcohol. That's the only thing you can assume. It could be something that's not as bad as that, or it could be something worse. We don't know. We're left in the dark. But here's what I will say. If this is something bad like that, I just don't understand it, man. I don't. Or my bad, my bad. I do understand it because the more I've covered these stories of these four- and five-star recruits and just people in general that can't stay out of trouble, I understand that people are wired differently, and that's all there is to it. People are wired differently, and we'll leave it at that. But I'm not going to lie, even though I can sit up here and say, okay, people are wired differently, it still mind boggles me as to how you got the best job in the world. You don't even got to play football. You're the backup quarterback. All you got to do is sit on the bench, show up to your workout, show up to practice, and you're going to make a million dollars per year. And yet, you can't stay out of He's tripping. Crazy, man. It's crazy. And I hope it's nothing too serious for old DoorDash Bennett. And I hope he turns his life around. I'm not saying not he has saying done he has something done really bad. Really I'm not bad. saying he, he hasn't. hasn't. I'm, just I'm just saying if he has if he done has something, something bad, bad, that is what mind boggles me. I hope he resolves it soon. And I'm sure we'll get an update on it. Eventually, it will get leaked down. And whenever it does, you know we'll talk we're about gonna it. We're going to find out the truth soon. A exactly couple more, what couple weeks. Down. Here's what we do know. If they have to remove you off of the team, yeah, yeah you can that's assume that's pretty dang bad. And here's my point with that. Even if situations are somewhat bad, and we've seen this in the history, the head coach will address it. He'll say, oh, yeah, yeah. this happened. It sucks, but we're going to move forward. And Sean McVay didn't even address it. He's like, yeah, we can't tell you what it is. That is what is leading me to believe, at least, it's something seriously bad. When the yeah. head coach is sitting up here telling people, please don't ask any more questions. It's so Definitely. bad we can't even tell you what's going on. You have to assume the worst, don't you? I'm trying not to assume the worst, but it's human nature to do that. We're all going to do it. I'm extremely <laughs> curious. What, definitely your doing something. Below, what in the world and what in the crap do you think is going on? And one last thing before we end up this video, I have a serious question for you guys. Please let me know your thoughts on this as well. At this point in time, with Stetson DoorDash Bennett being, I think he's still currently this man said Bennett. 26. Is this the end of his career? Because let's Might say be. he doesn't play this year due to off-the-field issues and he comes back next year. Well, he'll be close to 27. And it's not like he's a proven quarterback in the NFL. He still yeah. needs to prove himself. Remember, yeah. guys, I told you after the draft, I think it was a great pickup for the Rams because I think Bennett is a more than capable backup quarterback. That is his ceiling in the NFL, backup yeah. QB. Well, now at this now point, with all the off-the-field off the problems, problems, does the team does even, the team even want, want that baggage that bag? for their backup quarterback? I don't think so. Being a quarterback in the NFL is much more than just being a good football player. We know this. You can't just be a good football player if you're going to be a quarterback. You got to be a good person, too. You got to be charismatic, yeah. not cause problems in the locker room. There's just so many other things that come with that. And with Bennett being one of the older QBs and now having now off the field problems, problems, could this be the this end? Be he is seriously in danger of jeopardizing, of jeopardizing not just his NFL career, but his life. Because, guys, let me remind you, Bennett wasn't a first-round pick and signed for $10 million. This dude is on like a what? $1.2 million dollar contract? You got to remember he's got to pay taxes, got to pay his agent. He doesn't have life-changing money just quite yet. And more than likely, he won't get that life-changing money. So, money. so if this is the end-all, be-all to Stetson Bennett's football career, 
You don't have to get a regular job, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just crazy it's gotten to that point this fast. This man went in the highs of highs, winning a championship. Not just that, winning back-to-back championships at Georgia, getting drafted, everybody's high on him. There's even some people saying he could start over Matt Stafford. I saw it. Some people were saying that, and now here we are. Life if it's drinking, uh, he tripped. definitely hits you fast, and it'll humble you fast. There's many more things I could say, but I'm just extremely curious to find out what is actually going on. And like I said, if you guys know anything about this, let us know in the comment section. Fill us in. Sad situation, man. Sad situation. Let me know your thoughts down below. How you gonna say sad situation? You calling him DoorDash? It's Bennett. Matt, be great. You gotta stop, dog. <laughs>